Given that this is my third review of a GTX 980 Ti graphics card, I understood that these cards are usually pretty beefy when companies put their custom cooling solutions on them. However, as soon as I got the ASUS Strix GTX 980 Ti from ASUS South Africa, I realized what a behemoth I was actually dealing with. I mean, this thing barely, and I mean barely, fits in my mid-tower case. This is the largest card I have ever gotten my hands on. So let's see if this gigantic size translates directly into its performance. Starting off with the design of the card, we have the previously mentioned gigantic proportions of the card. The official spec of this card is 305 millimeters long by 152.2 millimeters high by 39.8 millimeters wide. Seriously, this is just a large card. All of that surface area is cooled by ASUS triple wing blade zero decibel fans with the three 100 millimeter fans only kicking in once the card reaches 65 degrees Celsius. This results in a slightly higher idle temperature but doesn't affect the card when under load. And to assist with cooling, you'll find the heat pipes running along the bottom of the card. On the back of the card, there's the brushed metal aluminum backplate complete with ASUS Strix branding and there's also a Strix GPU fortifier bracket on the rear and a reinforcement frame along the top to help make sure that this card won't bend or flex at all under its own weight. On the rear of the card, there is the two 8-pin power connectors surrounded by the fins of the heatsink. And going along with the power inputs, ASUS has implemented LEDs to help identify whether or not each socket is receiving power. The LEDs will glow red when the 8-pin is not connected and white when it is inserted. Just below that on the rear of the card is the illuminated Strix branding that has a breathe effect whenever the card is on. And just a final note about branding on the card, there is a discrete ASUS logo on the clip that goes into the PCIe connector on the motherboard. Some sneaky logo placement there ASUS. And finally for I.O. there's a single DVI-I, triple DisplayPort 1.2, and an HDMI 2.0 on this dual slot GPU. The ASUS Strix is equipped with the standard GTX 980 Ti setup of 6GB of GDDR5 384-bit memory with 2816 CUDA cores. However, the ASUS Strix version comes with a standard memory clock of 7200 MHz, roughly 200 MHz higher than any other card that I've tested. The Strix 980 Ti also has a base clock speed of 1216 MHz, with my card having a GPU boost clock speed of 1367 MHz. Translating this directly in terms of performance, the ASUS 980 Ti Strix Edition performs well at all resolutions of gaming, at least 30 FPS in every game that I tested at 4K, and then really well in all of the other resolutions. Putting this in terms of a value perspective, however, is another story for the Strix 980 Ti. Unfortunately, the exchange rate has not been kind to graphics cards here in South Africa. And with the Strix's pricing currently at, at roughly 16,000 Rand, its cost per frame rate is quite high. And while the Strix performs better in certain games than the Galax Hall of Fame and Gigabyte G1 Gaming 980 Ti's, it simply doesn't make sense to recommend this ASUS Strix from a cost per frame rate viewpoint in South Africa. However, in the American market, the cost is much more competitive with the Strix coming in at $40 less than the G1 Gaming and $70 less than the Hall of Fame. And that makes the ASUS Strix the most cost-effective 980 Ti you can get out of all the cards that I tested. So summing things up, the ASUS Strix 980 Ti is a great card. It's good looking, powerful even at stock speeds, and quiet when you need it to be. Unfortunately, in South Africa, the price point of the card puts it at three to 4,000 Rand more expensive than similarly specced cards, making it difficult to recommend on value alone. However, if you're in the US or prices are similar to the US, go ahead and pick this baby up. 100% a great value card. And with that, I wanna say thank you to ASUS South Africa for sending this card over to review. I appreciate the chance to get my hands on this card as well as the ASUS ROG Swift 27 inch 4K monitor, which I'll have a review coming out on soon. So like this video if you found it helpful, dislike it if you thought it was poo, subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content, and maybe even check out this video right here where we put an Xbox One and Skylake PC inside of a master case and water cooled all of it. In fact, that system's sitting right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.